Hey gamers, Amy here, and today is one of those videos. If you don't know what an MMORPG is, I suggest you come back tomorrow, because this video is going to be filled with nerdy stuff that you won't understand. So just for your safety, wait till tomorrow, or go back and watch some old videos. Up to you. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I'm going to talk about the RuneScape update that happened February 15th, 2011. Basically, this update had some great stuff for people that like skilling. The first part of the update was urn crafting. These urns could help you train cooking, fishing, mining, smithing, woodcutting, and prayer. And basically what you do is anyone level 1 through 81 crafting can make an urn, and based on your crafting level, it depends how good the urn is, and obviously the better crafting uh, you have, the better the urn is, and the more uh, stuff, like XP stuff that can go into the urn, and pretty much, just to make it simple, the better the urn is, the better XP, and the better stuff you can get. And if you want more information, I'll put a wiki, a rune wiki link in the description below so you can like see each level what kind of urn you get. There's a whole bunch, so I don't want to like waste your time going through all of them right now. I just want to give you kind of the uh, overall arching ideas of the update, so I don't bore you too much. <laughs> so basically, with these urns, they can be made with two soft clay. Uh, Jagex added two more places you can get soft clay from. Southern Barbarian Village, I believe it's Southern. Barbarian Village and in Drainer, and there's two places that you can get clay. If you don't feel like going to all the other old places you can get clay. <laughs> Basically you just need two soft clay and then you fire it. And after you fire it you can either trade it or you can activate it. And how you activate it is you need to put a certain rune onto your urn uh, so that the urn knows what kind of urn it should be. And I made a little drawing for you guys um, to show you pretty much. <laughs> I know it's not my best artwork, but I did it really fast. The runes for the urns. This just says crafting level 1 through 81. If you want a fishing urn for fishing XP, you need to put a water rune on your urn. If you want a cooking urn, you need to put a fire rune on your urn. If you want a mining urn, you need to put an earth rune on your urn. Smithing, fire rune, woodcutting, earth, and prayer, air rune. There's also another update I'm going to be talking about that has to deal with prayer that we will get to in a few minutes. So, you may have to pause this to see, but there you go. I thought it was prettier than uh, just me shouting at you what rune to use for each urn, so just drew something out for you. So once you make your urn, you carry the urn on you while you're training the skill that you want to train and it will passively fill up and you can check how full it is like whenever you want and once it's full you want to teleport it away and then you can go to Ernie in Southeast Farrakh and you can get information on how to get XP from your urn and I think that's really helpful I feel like Jyax is making every effort to make people start skilling now so this this should really get people going because I'm good I know I'm gonna try this out I wish there was one for agility because that would be awesome but I guess I'll just have to stick with getting a barb assault horn but that's okay uh, I'd probably use it on smithing or mining that sounds like a good idea wood cooking and wood cutting are easy enough now anyway that I don't know if I would you know use it on that. I might use it on prayer, I don't know, but what I would really want to try out is the demon ashes, which is the next part of the update. So basically what these demon ashes are is now when you kill things that are considered demons, these ashes drop and you can use them sort of like bones and you can scatter them around and you can use them on a altar in a POH player owned house or you can use them at the Ecto Functus, I think I'm saying that correctly, sorry if I'm not, 
and they basically count as crushed bones. So you skip that step and you just use the ashes on the ectofunctus and you get the XP, so that's great. Well, there's three different types of ashes. The first kind of ashes you can get are from killing imps or fiends, and they're called impious ashes. They're kind of the lowest out of all the three of the ashes. The second are called accursed ashes, and you get them from lesser or greater demons. And then the third, which is the best, are infernal ashes, and you get them from killing abyssal demons, necreals, and boss demons. I'm not I can't think of a boss demon off the top of my head, but let me know in the comments below if you can think of a boss demon. I think I'm just trying to remember all this stuff at once, so I can't think of anything. Sorry, but, um, yeah. <laughs> so, you get those, uh, so instead of getting bones from drops, you get those ashes from the demons, and you can just use them as prayer XP, and you can either put them in your urn and collect them, like, the cooking, fishing, mining, smithing urn. Uh, they made a prayer urn just like those. Or you can save them and you can use them at the POH or the ectofunctus. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's correct how you collect them. If it's not, please correct me below. I will also put a link for a very descriptive guide in the description so you guys can have pictures and whatnot there. And the last part of the update's not that exciting, it was just a shortcut update and they just added some shortcuts and added some shortcuts that free-to-play members could take and that's pretty much it. So the other two things were pretty much the bulk of the update and that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any suggestions or comments on anything that has to do with the update or RuneScape in general, then leave your comments below. and. Remember, there's a link in this, the description if you need any other information about the update. And have fun escaping, guys. I will be on all night tonight because I am going to be trying to get 99 herb lore tonight. None of the super pots are selling for me, but, you know, I'm waiting on them. And then once I get them, I can get 99. I am currently 200k from 97, so I'm getting there. I'm really close. I can feel it, and I really, really, really want the cape, so... I'm going to try to stay up like all night and get it, which is really nerdy, because it's Friday, but shh, I've been sick, so you know, I just kind of wanted to stay in anyway, but yeah, so come join my clan chat, and have fun guys, bye!